Greetings and welcome to Gwydion's Astral Podcast. Today we're going to be flashing back to some of my poetry, which I wrote in 1999. I was standing uh, there. Me. Wait, uh, wait, 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 I, uh, I don't think you actually get to take credit for the poetry written in 1999. Really now? And why is that? Am I not your pen name, as you said in episode four? Yes, a pen name which was given to me in December of 2000. Oh, yes, I see. Yes. So, um, technically the 1999 poetry was signed Edward. I wasn't using a pen name at the time. Right, okay, okay, uh, so... In that case, would you like to recite the poetry? If you don't mind, I'd, I'd be glad to. Well, I'll just take the day off, then. Please do. All right, well, you know, if that's the way it's going to be, I mean, you know, just go ahead and do no, no, you, you don't just have to call be it like Edward's that. Astral you, Podcast. You, what do you think about really? that? You know, like, I don't know. I mean, it's Dude. just... I don't know. Come on. You know, just I work so hard. Give me like I, you know, a few minutes, okay? And then you can come back and you can close it. It's still your show, I promise, okay? Yeah. Well, all right. Okay. I'll just take a walk or something. I'll, I'll just blow off some steam and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. I'm really sorry about him. I, he wasn't always like this. It was just, uh, some, some modifications I made in 2006 and 2007 that uh, I kind of regret, but <clears throat> anyhow. Okay. So the story goes, and it's a true story. I was working at Sierra Juice. No one was coming in at the moment. I remember it was cold. And, uh, I think it must have been getting toward winter. And, uh, you know, it was the year that I, I spent the whole year, you know, living at Gordon's. And so he was a huge influence on me at the time. And, uh, well, you know, I was, I was in the Great of Portal and the Golden Dawn and, uh, I was doing a lot of hiking up in, uh, around Bailey Canyon. And so I was standing there. And it was one of those things, and, it, you know, I mean, I, I hesitated to tell people about how the poem came to me until I started hearing other people's stories about how poetry came to them, and then it's it's not so surprising. So I'll, I'll just tell you, it all came to me at once. It came complete with the rhyme, the meter, with everything. And uh, I just grabbed a receipt, you know, some some receipt paper, because it was just what was nearby, and a pen, and I wrote it down. And so later I uh, put it to music, and then I ended up tacking it on to the end of another poem called Villagers. So if you go to uh, YouTube and you search for Gwydion Villagers, even though Villagers was written in 1993 and, and uh, Original Postulate was written in 1999, I uh, was putting all that stuff under Gwydion's name for a while, just kind of lumping it all together. But, but it is a you know, I mean, it's a, it is true that technically I wasn't signing my name as Gwydion until um, December of the year 2000, and I wasn't signing it on poetry until the beginning of 2001. So, here is the poem I wrote on the back of that receipt, as put to music. The first time. Original Postulate There's something about the flesh And the senses of the ground And the human brain observing And recording words of sound There's something that I miss about Stability and loss And the energy invested in A stone that gathers moss And the orbitings of chaos As reflected in 
the minds in the ego masking programs of so many different kinds. Let's go around again, and I swear just one more time, we'll trip out on the colors and the melody and rhyme, and our hearts beating in bodies of a changing fragile form, rebelling from a group mind in a raging thunderstorm. We'll listen to the liars and we'll let them bring us down so we can take away our mirrors and then rediscover now. You can be my lover in a bittersweet sea. We'll grow up in the suburbs and we'll set each other free. You can be my brother in a bittersweet sea. We'll grow up in the suburbs and we'll set each other free. Hey, Glidian. Sure, yeah, no, I, I, I just now. finished. I, can, I just I, finished. Can, I, can I have my no, show no back? Problem, no problem, it's all yours. All right, so I, all right, I, good. I, well, you know, it's, it was nice having you. Okay. It's always a pleasure. Have a good show. All right. I, all right, cool. Okay. Namaste. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Okay. That's great. Okay. Uh, where were we? Um, before we close, I wanted to share with you a song. Unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have the original track in which the Velvet Dog introduces himself. Um, he is a... Uh, character created by a character named King Kong, who is the, shall we say, pen name of a certain Connell who, uh, is a friend of mine. You can go to his website at www.king-con.com. So that's K-I-N-G hyphen C-O-N dot C-O-M, and that's so that first one is con, like to convince, uh, confidence man, con, that one. And the second one is com, like company. So, king-con.com. Anyway, we'll close with Velvet's Booty Tune. Thank you all for tuning in. Good night! Yo, 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 granddaddy. Well, uh, the gangsta jazz thing didn't work out so well, so I, I went way old school and I wrote a good old fashioned booty song. Cool, man, whip me with it. All right, here, here we go, I'm gonna hit you with this. It says, you like this. I said, I'm into anal, cause vaginas are so banal. Yes, I'm into anus. It's really not the anus, say, I'm into anal. Come on, everybody. Uh, 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 Velvet, uh, I don't think anybody's gonna wanna hear a song about a chick's anus. What? what? Why not, man? Booty rules. I, I, I'm singing about an ass I saw the other day that was so fine it was an argument for cloning. Well, uh, ass is okay. Uh, is uh, not so okay. How about a song about coochie and stay? Coochie? Man, that's anal treason. I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. with my ass.